little awkward. Sticks it into the ground, deep divot. Sounded real clean, Johnny. Another little Mickelson special. He just hand over at the seventh. Yeah, it's a definite birdie hole here. And Hudson looking to kick it in here after a string of pars after the opening bogey, and he will have a chance at his... Charles Howell with his second shot, just 131 yards in here, John. What a difference a day makes. Hole playing a little downwind now. Huge drive. This whole location with that shorter shot, somewhat accessible. Thank you. He's a wiry, strong guy. Yes, he is. And when he lost in the playoff, his Charles Howell. We go back to seven. And Bazzelli's turn from 83. Should be able to get this close. And Bazzelli spinning it back. Very soft grip. And Bazzelli hanging in there. Gets his first birdie of the day from short range. And he follows Bazzelli in, so Swafford with his first birdie of the day as well. Approach and was only able to advance his third to here. So this is his fourth. Needing to make it, he won't though. So Lahir is among the most difficult on the track. Now Ryan Blom, eight under after the birdie at the 14th, coming ninth, Martin Laird. Laird looking at 27 feet. And he has it. Laird with birdies at eight and nine. Three thirteen. Phil Mickelson with a six iron. Small target, John. Green only about 11 yards wide in the front where the hole is placed. A lot better than that's, yesterday. Yeah, I was going to say, that's pretty darn. For sure, 16. Bill Haas playing his third from some 81 yards. Yesterday just couldn't get it going after those four right, birdies. Made four to start and then uh, all pars the rest of the way around. 19 are with him. Close to him in that department, so. He's got to build like Ernie Yells, doesn't he? So he's a big man. He can move it. Oh, well, that is perfect. And very long. Oh, these guys are. Didn't get all of it. Yeah, going a little left. Might find a bunker there. Mm. He stays clear of it. About seven feet away. Now it's 17. Takes the club straight away and up. Very upright stance. This one, a good shot into the right. Vegas trying to set up a look at birdie. Just 78 yards. He had all sorts of problems at 15. This is a five wood from 259 for Hudson Swafford at the eighth. How good was that? That was such a good swing. I mean, that was like right on the money. 59 curse? I did. Shot 74, 74, finished sixth. Mickelson coming from 131. Right. That's a knockdown right. nine iron, and this is going to need a good break. Yeah, list uh, going along nicely at 11 under. This 12th, a uh, definite birdie opportunity if you have a short iron in your hand, and uh, he would go on to make that putt. Cavernous bunker. Yep, yeah, uh, it doesn't get any easier either. Ball way up in his stance. Try to make a big swing and get it up as high as you can. <laughs> Crazy bunker. Yes, it is. Now, the good news is there's a slope behind today, John, that'll help. He did not make the cut, but once. Now, Brandon Hagee, he did find trouble. So now having to play after that penalty stroke onto the green. Having to pick the club up very quickly, but able to get it underneath the ball and almost hold it but 182 left laid it way back on this hole yeah 182 and a 405 hole went out one under is at 15 under just two back so he's hovering that was eight oh, yeah, left of chad campbell at the 10th ball above his feet 
That is not an easy shot. Got to play for a pole hook. Got water in front. Be right. Now he's saying be right. What a shot. That is just terrific. Length. Let's make it four. That's some Swafford. 30 at seven. 30 at 11th. And Robert Garrigus is only two back as he takes aim with his second at the par five. And he is a long hitter. Mm, boy, good swing there, RG. Somebody, Caddy good. likes it. It's from 279. And there's that firepower that Garrigus has always had. Yeah, he's got that backswing like J.B. Holmes and a lot of power with that uh, high position at the top. Side did not make the green in regulation. Trying to hold this, though. Good handy work from off the edge. Danny Lee, second shot, 265 yards. This was just a moment ago. And Johnny, we talked about this whole location, set up for some excitement. This is what can happen. Watch this thing go up the slope and reverse direction and start working right back toward the hole. Nice. Yeah. So, a little three footer left there for an Eagle three. Four back. Maybe going on three back. Buries it. So, Laird now 14 under. Or Eagle here at 16. So, it's got some movement to the right. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, was that the Phil jump? I think it was. I think he's doing the, uh, that was he's his doing own, the Phil. Yeah, the low. <laughs> and over at the 10th, had one to stay on top. Good clutch putt by the Canadian. Really a nice yardage for a full lob wedge. From 15 oh, under. To 17 under, but Collie has not won on the P. At least and run up across that ridge. Should move to his right when it gets up across here. Go in. Nice. He's gotten it to 14 under, six iron in hand. That's an unusual move there, Johnny, but it's effective. He uh, won had a win and. Three seconds on the web.com tour last year, and that went right at T. Well, Johnny, I can almost assure you, Danny Lee won't get to 304, but he does get it out there, and that is a good looking swing. He's going to challenge the left side, but should catch a fairway. Yeah, that's a very fine oh, shot. Very <laughs> that gives us a good test to see where Phil's driver swing is. And the ball way forward in his stance, also. He certainly did. Picking it up like he thinks it's okay. I lost it in the clouds. Headed to the right and out. Uh, Chris Kirk right in the mix with two birdies in the shot. Now John Rahm at 17. Rahm at eight under par. And the Spaniard, he'll hold a birdie at the par 317. Catches the club, the ball will be already up and gone. So, I think, well, he, he did try to play a funny little shot there. You were right, Nada. Looked like a little shot shot, almost like a bunker shot. It's a good sounding shot, should have spin. Another solid strike. Patrick Reed finishing up over at the ninth. How about this ending to Patrick Reed's final round, 65, seven under, low round of the day. So a good final round Sunday for Patrick Reed, over at 17 for Sean O'Hare. Always oh, very visually intimidating this hole. Uh, no wind, not too tough. Dark. Yeah, very nice. It'd be kind of a daunting shot to him if he's gonna go right at the flag. Yeah. Oh, that's a good looking shot. Oh, yeah. Right over the top of the flag stick. That is right. At least that's the appearance I get. Yes. You hit him close right. enough, long enough, and pretty soon you're going to start making him. Jeff Ogilvy had this lengthy putt for a birdie off the front edge of the green. Big swing from right to left. 
and he read it perfectly. So Ogilvie gets to 10 under. This bunker you're talking about, Bozzelli with a difficult third at the 14th. This just earlier, and look what he did. I mean, that's about as good as you can do. That bunker is nasty. Cool. Want to miss left. You do not want it in that deep, deep bunker down the left-hand side. And this is going to be a beauty. Starts up to right, drawn a little bit. Ball. Yeah, didn't get much roll, though. See, his feet are aimed quite a bit left. Looking up and down like he likes it. It is a dart right over the flag stick. But uh, really not much. And Swafford with another one at a great time. Ties Cawley at 18 under. Got it. Clutch putt by Hadwin to avoid two bogeys in the last three holes. Stays within striking distance. Back and then played an indifferent third. So this will move to his left once it's up on the green. Yeah. Oh! That's a nice four. That's a really nice four. Uh, crazy game. Headed right. I could just feel it. Uh, after a massive drive, 232 yards. Second shot for Hudson Swafford, a four iron. Oh, you know. They like it. They're asking for it to be enough. And it is. Oh, 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 eagle time. Oh, Watch this. Watch yeah. this. Yeah, that'll ease its way toward the hole. Ricochet off the rocks. So a four, he salvages out of it. That was a good putt right there. That was a good wedge shot, David. Get within one. Yeah. It does. So he's still right there. Green and make a three here. Doing it with an eight iron. How's that look? Looks awfully good. Uh, Swafford looking at it like he knows it's good and he stuffs it. How about that shot? Island Green, so just a few inches to tap in to get to the 20 under number for Hudson Swafford. So that is three birdies in a row. And the funniest and easiest guys to partner with around a golf course. That, he said that helped keep him relaxed when he was making that 59 bit of La Quinta. Did a straight putt up the hill. I haven't seen anybody make it. To get to 19 under for Hadwin, and he gets it done. How about that? Be the number. Oh, it's a number. pretty shot. Be right. Shaping it right at it. And so Harmon has makes it. Harmon stiffs it. And Bazelli now over at 17 for Birdie. Straight downhill putt, not a hard putt. Everybody's rolling him in. Three. Yeah. He's going to like that. Man, that is pure. That is really, really good. And a great angle to that left front hole location. He's made all day. Just jammed it in there from long range. See if he can get a good shot. Oh, that's not good. Uh, it's gonna, gonna hang right up against that, that ryegrass, huh? Sixty-one yards. So we hit it about ten feet right of the hole. Kick left. Swing. Yeah, really good swing, bud. That'll do it. Solid. You never know in this game. They go right in the hole. Not this time, though. It makes it a lot easier for. Bazzelli for birdie. Let's 
It's going to help Swafford just to show him the perfect read, which is going to go. Oh, how good has Baselli's putting been all week? That puts a smile on his face. Yeah, just sort of leak it down there. Nothing fancy. Just exactly like the old doctor ordered. I'll eat straight for up the hill. Nicely done by Hadwin, and he indeed finishes in that solo second position. So the to make it another Bulldog winning on the PGA Tour, Hudson Swafford breaks through at the Career Builder Challenge.